How is it going today, loyalists? Hello, my name is Dwayne. My name is Jasmine. We're Dwayne Jasmine. We have Honest Trailers Suicide Squad. Jasmine, you don't have the computer right here because they 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 go in, boy. What you saw this? No, no. I just know oh. Honest Trailers goes in and. Just, well, just, I like Suicide Squad. Suicide yeah. Squad is my fine. But now, actually, it's actually more about Harley. That's the only reason why. I yeah. Like no. Yes, yeah, I can't wait. What year? I think next year is her. her, her it needs to be. Her own movie coming out in 2018. Comment below and tell me what year Holly Quinn is having uh, her movie. Yeah, she's, it was well, she's definitely having a solo solo movie. It's solo because movie. of her that I was so excited to see Suicide Squad. Yeah. But I like Will Smith as Deadshot though. Yeah. I I also I like do, him too. I saw Deadshot and um, Arrow, and yeah, I was like, it doesn't yeah. feel the same. Yeah. Like, it doesn't feel the same. Like you know, but yeah. whatever. So let's dive on in. Yeah, turn all the way up. Is it all the way up? Yeah. No, come on, move, move on. Here. No, yeah, I've had a feeling. From the studio that owns awesome yeah. heroes like Batman and Superman it. comes a film about the worst heroes ever. <laughs> and that's from their actual trailer. Way to go, guys. You want a trailer yourself. Suicide <laughs> Squad. After the mixed reception to their last movie, it was Warner mixed. Brothers probably regret spending just six weeks on the script for this one. Now, they have four short months to reshuffle their executives, juggle seven different cuts, reshoot the third act, deliver on all the Joker stuff they already put in the trailers, and manage a director who takes shots at their biggest competition. Marvel! <laughs> it's like there's some kind of... savage. What's the word? What, are we some kind of suicide squad? Man, this thing is running itself. <laughs> With Superman-level threats on the rise, Amanda Waller has a solution. She was, she she was ruthless. She together a bunch of bad guys to save the world. This girl can do some pretty incredible things. From the bad guys she brought together to save the world. Do your worst. Yeah. They're high on attitude. I but didn't get that. Low on relevant skills, like a man who's half crocodile, half racial stereotype. <laughs> Any other requests? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, I hated like, that. What? Won't. I'm gonna die in peace before I raise. I like his game. character. One chicken chop an exposition machine. Who puts did... out whatever the plot needs to be? They didn't give enough screen time for. Here comes Slipknot, the man who can climb anything. He was there for like five oh, seconds. We can end this. A drunk guy with a boomerang. Yeah, they didn't give him enough. Yeah. He's a guy looking ass rope door. He, he yeah, he a died. Down girl with a bat. Sorry. A lady who just kind of shows up and barely says anything and has yeah. a magic sword and isn't even a bad guy. Why is right, she she's not bad at all. Katana. It's just she's assassinating got my back. People. I would advise not getting killed by her. Her sword traps the souls of its victims. That's good to know. And Will Smith <laughs> doing everything he can to save this movie. Yes. And if she can't cut it and her grades start slipping, I need you to white people that thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. In a world of flying men and monsters, this is the only way to protect our country. She was good, though. She was wonderful. You'll love these good guys gone bad, but they're going up against bad guys who are even better than the bad good guys with bad bad guys like the putties from Power Rangers with <laughs> caviar all over their faces. <laughs> from Legends of the Hidden Temple and the Enchantress, an ancient spirit released by the world's worst archaeologist. Watch Cara Delevingne make the jump from modeling to acting like the wavy inflatable arm things outside car dealerships as she formulates an <laughs> evil plot to destroy the inflatable world. Inflatable thing. Wait, let me guess. It's a sky beam, isn't it? Surrounded by rubble and a disposable CGI army too, right? Man, this really sounds like a job for the Avengers. Or Ooh. really any other movie in the last 10 years. Yo! No fans are only here for one reason. The Joker. And yep. you're barely gonna get any of him. Experience Jared Leto's intense method acting that blurred the line between actor, character, and total douchebag. I did you send you his common food? Oh, everybody. As he does in oh. just 10 minutes of screen time, what no other actor has been able to do. Make the Joker totally suck in an interpretation oh, no. that combines James Franco and Spring Break. <laughs> Look at my <laughs> Ace Ventura. This handsome. I kind of like this Joker oh, though. Alrighty then. <laughs> Yeah, he was purring. Yeah, I was so mad. You could cut him out of the movie, and it wouldn't make any difference. <laughs> Get ready for a film hard. that I kind of like that joke almost as much as it cool. hates helicopters. There was a lot of helicopters. Destroyed. As they literally spell out who the characters are, tell you how they're feeling at all times. She seems nice. That is just a mean lady. All right. <laughs> You are evil. 
and keep reminding you who's good and who's bad. The worst of the worst. These are villains, Amanda. You notice these are criminals? We're bad guys. And I'm the bad guy. Don't forget, we're the bad guys. We get it. You all saw. Yes. So gear up. He's so all thought to put the DC Extended Universe back on track, but instead gave us two hours of characters trying to look cool. Do a soundtrack that feels like someone scanning through a radio dial. Nah, the soundtrack was good. Nah, soundtrack was good. I was talking about this. With oh, that part. performances by Will Smith, Marco Robbie, and Jai Courtney of all people. That get canceled out by this hula hooping witch and this manorexic <laughs> juggalo. But hey, at least Wonder Woman looks pretty good. Right? Yes, she does. She does. Look, she looks, she's gonna have a night. One Willie. <laughs> the only one night Willie. Daddy's little cosplayer. <laughs> Bless her. <laughs> That's not a noise. Dia de los Mentos. Mm. Jim Crocator. Just the worst. G.I. Close. Real American Zero. Oh, this no. Is Katana. She's got my back. I would advise not getting killed by her. her <laughs> That's her story. Yeah. Long or mad. <laughs> Am I too soon? I'm too soon. And what it felt like watching this movie? No. The Boondock Tanes. <laughs> Yo, it was going in, man. Oh, man. That's why I said you might, you might, you might, you might, you might, you might not like it because, you know, because they, No, they I wasn't, I wasn't really hurt. They I mean, all I care about really is Harley. I just cared about Harley and, yes, Will yeah, and Will's Joker. Yeah. Everybody else I really didn't care about. I felt I like, really I felt like, um, parts were rushed. Yeah. The parts one thing that I can understand with that movie was that they, okay, so they were building the Suicide Squad to fight something that was bad, but then it ended up being the person that what they was working with that turned into the bad one, but mm -hmm. how did y'all know that was gonna happen? They know they had, I think they had just had them on call. If anything bad on was call, to happen. If she got If anything, control. they're the Suicide Squad, so they was expendable. So like, let's say anything bad happens that Superman or Batman, or none of them can't okay, do. Okay, that's what I was confused yeah. about. I was like, because how are they going to prepare to fight something that they didn't know they was going to fight for anyways? Yeah. They were, that's they, why I was like, so they were just there they're just, fighting yeah. somebody that they got introduced to? No, no, no. They're just so there. that's why I was yeah, like. Yeah, Suicide Squad's just there, just in case when Batman and all of them are busy yeah. with other things, they send them and... You know, if they okay. die, they die. But they okay, well then that makes more sense. Cause yeah. I was kind of confused, but I let it go. Yeah, I felt I felt I was though like, it was oh. rushed. I felt though it was rushed. They should have went. I mean, we already know their storylines. Yeah. Pretty much, um, Harley Quinn's. You know, I, I they could have said some of her background story for the solo movie. Well, it's gonna be more. It's it wasn't really more, a lot. Yeah, it wasn't that really they a lot. Showed. Yeah. So, it was like a, they didn't show like you know. Joker and Harley going through their abuse and everything and trying to kill each other, then making up and all that stuff. They yeah. didn't show any of that, so. Yeah. yeah so they That's all I'm waiting for. That Harley yeah. movie. Mm -hmm. One thing that I was tired of, though, is when Suicide Squad came out, which was kind of close to around the time that um, Halloween came out, everybody was Harley for Halloween. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be originally for a long time ago because this movie came out. It was literally sold out everywhere, so I did not want to be it. I was mm -hmm. just like, it's just everybody. It's Harley, and it just sucks. Yeah, that's why so, she had to switch it up. Yeah. But anyway, guys, please comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And share some more, guys. Peace.